Welcome everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to day five, tip of the day. It's not like I'm going to pop in here every day. I'm going to try uh, to be here every day, but it may not be the case. Um, so what I wanted to uh, bring up today was uh, a continuation of uh, our tip of the day for day four. So one of the things that we talked about is addiction is not so much as uh, an addiction to the thing, like addiction to alcohol, addiction to uh, uh, drugs or addiction to smoking. It's more an addiction to the emotion um, that Dr. Joe had talked about in one of his um, lectures on the intensive course. So please do go purchase the intensive progressive course if you want to dive deeper into this. Um, so the other pointer that he gives in this is, so in between the uh, intensive and progressive courses, he, um, I don't remember exactly which course where he says this, he says, we are addicted to the emotion that we are feeling. So we are addicted to that uh, uh, manager uh, that we feel annoyed, uh, like we get uh, uh, frustrated. So we constantly keep that relationship up just for the emotional, like a body wants to feel that emotion of anger towards the manager, right? So we stay in that job that uh, is not working out for us. Uh, we are having a cantankerous relationship with the manager just because we are addicted to that emotion. The same can be the case with a coworker. The same can be the case with a sibling. Why do we keep that relationship up if we are having a, a disharmonious relationship? Because we are addicted to this emotion that we feel. So what we need to do is unmemorize the, the emotion. That's what we had talked about in day four uh, tip. So the example here, he what he gives is um, is um, if you had a chocolate, if you were addicted to a chocolate cake, then if you brought in a chocolate cake, somebody brought in a chocolate cake. If you're addicted to the chocolate cake, you would your mind would go oh, just go ahead and have a slice. Even though you know that you shouldn't be eating chocolate cake, your mind will go, oh, go ahead and have a slice of chocolate cake. So that's how um, the body automatically, uh, autonomically knows its addiction. So it will keep up that feeling, that intense feeling that you need it. You need the chocolate cake. Um, Patricia, Louise, and I um, have actually been on the medical medium protocol. So for us, you can bring a pizza in front of us, you can bring a chocolate cake, and it doesn't move us. So what he says is you need to get to that point where somebody brings you the chocolate cake and you may eat it or you may not. And for us, it's like we don't eat it. Like we have been gluten-free, dairy-free egg free uh, for the past couple of years uh, for uh, Patricia, it's been more than a year. Or so um, it's like you will need to get to that point with your emotions where you no longer, you see that person, you see that manager that you are addicted to by uh, this feeling of cantankerous feeling of anger that he doesn't uh, acknowledge me. He does not uh, probably there's some uh, narrative going on about that manager, right? That he doesn't uh, actually acknowledge all my uh, accomplishments. He does not uh, really recognize my efforts. So whatever your mind is saying, so that addiction. So when you break the bond, you also will release, disentangle from that person. That person may leave your life. And I've noticed that... Um, in my life that uh, I used to have a coworker that uh, had this kind of um, uh, relationship and it so happened that they left the company or that manager left the company. So that's what happens is we disentangle. Once we unmemorize that emotion, we uh, forgiveness is uh, important, but it's not so much as forgiveness. It's more like 
don't get addicted to that emotion that you feel. So know that any of these negative feelings, like uh, you look at a sibling and you feel uh, a certain uh, sense of jealousy, envy. Um, so what you need to unmemorize is the uh, emotion. The second part to this, what I would say is, um, again, in this talk, he um, differentiates between what are feelings and what is emotion. So a feeling is more like when you're feeling anger, you feel like this intense um, uh, heat and energy rising from like the first two uh, energy center, first two, three energy centers, like in your pit of your gut, um, you kind of feel this anger. When you're feeling um, kind of like uh, uh, less than, then it's like, there's like a low feeling in that. So that feeling is what we are addicted to. And we have to recognize that feeling. And that's where a presence practice or uh, the ability for what Dr. Joe calls metacognition or this awareness, this presence to be able to observe how we are feeling is really, really important. So the tip for today is build your awareness practice. That is the most important thing because to feel these emotions and unmemorize them, a great deal of awareness is needed. As we observe it, we release it. With that, have a fantastic day. Much love, many blessings. Thank you, bye.